Talk Tuesday. I'm here with Doc, and what we do is I pick a topic, we trash it. Are you ready? I think this one will be a legitimate trash talk. They kind of haven't been lately, so we'll okay, find out. Evening. Okay, so here's the claim. This is an article that says it was fact-checked. Oh, that makes me feel better already. I know, right? From Healthline. Oh, okay. 60% of binge drinkers drink even more during COVID-19 lockdowns. I'd agree with that. Yeah. Maybe that has to do. Well, yeah, and obviously they're going to do the thing they do. This is around the time you were born. New York City yeah. was hit with a blackout. And you're going to see this too with COVID. New York City was hit with a blackout. It lasted for about 10, 12 days. Nine months later, birth explosion. Okay, but here's the difference. COVID's, COVID's going to have this So too. I need to find an article about this because I actually heard that there are not as many pregnancies happening as what people would have expected because of the depression. Well, that could be. So so I'm interested in seeing that because I've heard that people, true, while yeah. they are home, their libido is tanked because they're depressed. Well, that could be. And also they're trapped together for a, a long period of time rather than just like... A what night. You, what are you saying? When people you, get sick of you, people. Let's check on the divorce rate. I think the divorce rate's going to skyrocket more in pregnancy. Hmm. I mean, you're, you're, you're already seeing a lot of mental health related issues. Mm -hmm. so, so here's what this claim, this is the claim. It says a new study has found that the stress of pandemic lockdowns lead to increased drinking among those who were considered binge drinkers. Non-binge drinkers didn't experience this effect, although that's interesting. We'll see how that goes. Stress is among many factors associated with binge drinking, and it says that people can use self-help strategies, blah, blah. And then one thing I wanted to talk about, there was one, um, it says non-binge drinkers didn't report any kind of changes in their consumption. It says that... Um, among binge drinkers rose 19% for each added week of lockdown. That's kind of a high number. Mm -hmm. They also found the odds of increased, increased drinking of binge drinkers was more than twice that of people who weren't binge drinkers, 60% versus 28%. So anyway, here's what it says too, recognizing there's a problem. For women, the limit is seven drinks per week with no binge drinking. Now here's where things start to get real random for me. It says uh, that moderate drinking for men is, dr sorry, that was moderate drinking, what I said, seven drinks per week. Moderate More drinking for, for men is no more than 15 drinks per week and no binge drinking. Two a day. It says binge drinking is defined as drinking more than um, five, five or more drinks in a two hour period for men. And for women, it's four or more drinks in the same two hour period. I feel better. You're, you're like, shoot, am I, am I a binge drinker? <laughs> you know what? I'm good to go. Do you know what? I don't remember the last time I had a drink. I don't remember the last time I had a drink. Yeah. It had to have been at least three or four weeks ago. So I'm definitely not a binge drinker. Well, that's fine. The interesting yeah. thing is just driving around town. I know all the liquor stores are packed. Well, you know. So what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? Sit in the house and watch reruns of football, I guess. Yeah. I sit around and watch reruns of Frasier. That's my go-to. Yeah, I can see that. But I don't drink sherry. Isn't he a therapist? Yeah, in that show. That's why. Explains yeah. a lot here. Mm -hmm. Getting yeah. some self-help going on. Yeah. Doing a lot of meditating. <laughs> Listening to Frasier. Well, Doc, there was. Yeah, we didn't really I trash... Football, you watch Frasier, okay. We didn't really trash anything on that. Uh, that, was, that was kind of interesting. Doc talk. I was more of doc talk. All right, everybody. Have a great Tuesday. Well, there you have it. Have a great Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Or no, not tomorrow. Friday for Free Advice Friday.